Calling 2023 an insane year for me would be an understatement. I got married and my wife moved over from America to live with me in the UK. It's been hectic. Still though, I tried to put out consistent videos, as consistent as I could, on my main channel and now on my second channel, which is uh, HoodCal. HoodCal is more of like a channel for like battle content, so like, you know, free-for-alls. Uh, then We Fights is the latest sort of trend I've hopped on. But that's all we're talking about today. We're talking about the main channel and all the games I've played throughout 2023. Originally, Sky gave me the idea to do like a top 10 or top 5 games I played this year, but I honestly didn't think I really played that many games. And going through my channel the past uh, 365 days, I saw that I played, I would say, roughly 19 games. That is if you include Pokemon Emerald Rogue, which Emerald Rogue was uploaded sporadically throughout the year. So I have this tier list maker that I set up. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to rank these and send me your ranking. I think this would be an interesting way for me to understand what sort of games you guys like to see me play. Instead of the S, A, B, C, D, E, we're doing from 1 to 10. So first off, we have uh, Pokemon Emerald Rogue. Um, this glitched route thumbnail is just the first one I happened to upload in 2023, I believe. At this point, I'd been posting Emerald Rogue since before Scarlet and Violet came out. I mean, even last week, we uploaded the mono rock video of Emerald Rogue. We are still going to be uploading Emerald Rogue into 2024. Probably the longest ongoing ROM hack I've ever played. It's kind of a hard one. Emerald Rogue is my absolutely favorite ROM hack of all time. Going on record to say that, I love it so much. I'm really sad that I'm done with it so any video i'm like making of this game i think I, i'll give it a 10 out of 10 it's it's absolutely like my favorite honestly i think in 2022 it's probably my game of the year which is just hilarious because it's a rom hack i think this tier list will also serve as like a good sort of uh a good way to you know if you missed any of these videos or any of these games i played if i rank them highly it might encourage you to go back and check them out but starting in january we played this little game called pokemon crown this video was one of my most successful videos this year and i think for good reason it changes how pokemon it play is plays it's it's a completely different style of gameplay for pokemon i think off the top of my head it's very similar to like team fight tactics in league i don't play league i just that's what i was told i really enjoyed this game i really enjoyed that it did very well on my channel i think i'll give it a 9 out of 10 so um starting off 2023 strong i also want to point out pokemon crown is also a series uh but this year i actually did a lot of uh standalone videos where I would play the entirety of a game and I would chop that up into just one single video. That, this was me experimenting this year. For years now, people have said that Let's Play is a dying genre and uh, I mean, kind of, it kind of is. It's nowhere near as popular as it used to be. So, you know, sometimes you gotta change things up and uh, I'm really proud of some of the videos I made this year actually, but Pokemon Crown in particular was a series. Like I said, there will be a playlist linked, but a one-off video I did was on uh, Lumen Tail, which isn't actually a Pokemon ROM hack or fan game. It is a Pokemon like, I would say. It was made by the same team that made Pokemon Xenoverse, which I would say Pokemon Xenoverse is probably my favorite Pokemon fan game. Pokemon Xenoverse was an absolutely insane experience. But yeah, these guys, uh, they released a demo. The game isn't actually complete yet. It's not out yet. I think it's scheduled to be released next year, which is actually really exciting. I will definitely be playing that here. I think over here on the Hoodlum Callum channel, we've definitely come to love and appreciate uh, Pokemon likes. So um, I'm definitely going to be trying to play more of those in 2024 as well. Uh, but yeah, we have Lumen Tail. Uh, just from what I played at the demo, I really, really enjoyed it. I do think there was quite a hefty amount of dialogue. Uh, it's funny because uh, if you watch this video, I think the video is like an hour-ish long and 30 minutes into the video is when you get the start selection but uh for my recording time that was actually an hour into the video so it took me about an hour to get to the part where i got to choose my starter which uh for pokemon fans is uh <laughs> It's terrible pokemon fans would hate that overall though i would say 8 out of 10 i feel bad because i've kind of just 10 9 8 right now but uh it will change up don't worry i'll give it an 8 out of 10 though just based on the demo so far uh, i'm very excited for the game release next up is another one-off video which is called a fake mon artist's dream brought to life basically uh the youtube channel subjectively uh made their own fake mon region and um a group of people came together and decided hey we're gonna turn this region into a real game so i played the demo for that and uh, honestly it was pretty good i think the fake mon were of course really good subjectively always do a great job it's hard because when it comes to a demo, I think the fact that it's not a finished product definitely makes it like never, it's never going to be a 10. You know what I mean? But from what I played so far, I would say it's pretty good. I would put it maybe behind 
Lumen Tail. That's just me personally. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen the video on that yet. Then after that, I dropped a new series uh, called Most Ambitious Fan Game Just Dropped. This one also did uh, pretty well for me. Um, but like uh, a few of the games we played this year, actually, I just realized all of the games I'd played that year so far were just demos. Well, technically, this game is Pokemon Flux and uh, it's not actually a demo. They're releasing the game in three or four parts, I believe. So this was part one. Uh, I think part two is probably coming out some point next year. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Flux, uh, incredibly polished, incredibly well made. It's just honestly held back by the fact that it was a part one. I think I will put it a little bit ahead of, uh, we'll put a little bit ahead of Lumen Tail. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that placement. I think that's, I think that's fair. After that, we made a video called They Made an Open World Pokemon Emerald. That is uh, Pokemon Emerald Crest. And honestly, I don't know, the novelty wore off really, really fast. And uh, I was actually told in the comments that there already exists an open world Pokemon Emerald and it's Pokemon Rahway, which I actually, I did stream Pokemon Rahway like a couple weeks ago. I need to get back to it. Uh, but I was told that uh, Rahway was, uh, was kind of just, I guess, more advanced with their features and was maybe a little bit better than Crest. So I kind of like, I did two videos on it then I just never played it again. I'm indifferent on it. I think I'm gonna just put it five. I know people see f anything below seven is a bad rating. And I think that is to do with maybe like school grades is I think usually in school, if you don't get like at least a 70, it's kind of like a bad rating, but I see five as a neutral rating. It's like right in the middle. There's room for improvement and there's room for, you know, badness, whatever. The video did very well, but the actual game itself was, eh, it, the novelty wore off. Then of course we had Pokemon Radical Red. Uh, I spent like a good few months playing Radical Red, like maybe three months almost playing Radical Red. I've already played Radical Red before, um, but my experience playing it this year, um, I liked it more than I thought I would, I'll be honest. I already quite like Pokemon Radical Red. I will say I do think the game is a bit bloated. I think there are maybe a bit too many features in, in one game, um, but it is a very cool and ambitious game. Uh, I really like the Sevian forms. I like that addition a lot. Plus it covered me for content for a couple months, so... Um, God bless Radical Red. Uh, I think I'll definitely, in terms of, uh, I'll put it nice nine out of 10, put it ahead of Pokemon Crown. Uh, I really do enjoy Pokemon Radical Red. And during playing Radical Red and probably a few of these other games, I was streaming a game called Cassette Beasts. Cassette Beasts uh, is definitely just in my top five games of the year. Not even Pokemon fan games or Pokemon ROM hacks, just straight up top five games of the year. Cassette Beasts was such a phenomenal experience. I'm gonna keep talking about it. Please, if you haven't played Cassette Beasts, please check it out. Uh, check out the video I made on it. It's this thumbnail right here. I'm gonna straight up put it ahead of uh, Pokemon Emerald Rogue. I have never had so much fun. I mean, I have had some, I had like a lot of fun playing Pokemon Scarlet for the first time, but Cassette Beasts, man, it caught me off guard. And uh, I can't, I don't know, man, I, I can't sing its praises enough. Uh, the video I made is a good sort of introduction to the game, the mechanics. So if you want to know like, oh, how does the types work? How does the fusion mechanic work? Like I pretty much cover all the all the basics and I don't really spoil too much of the story. I kind of just give you like a generic like this is what you can expect. So yeah, in terms of video I made and also in terms of the game itself, I think Cassette Beasts probably just overall the f my, my favorite thing I've done this year, which is funny because it wasn't Pokemon at all. Cassette Beasts again, it's not Pokemon. It's just a Pokemon like, but I think it's worth putting on here if for nothing else but just to shout it out after that i decided i enjoyed doing my cassette beast video so much i wanted to make more one-off videos a while ago i had this idea for a series called abandoned pokemon fan games the idea was obviously to just look at a bunch of pokemon fan games that had been abandoned i was planning on putting them all into one video so the main three i thought were pokemon sage pokemon phoenix rising and pokemon i guess it's called sea and sky now but I, it was called Pokemon Ethereal Gates. Uh, but as I was researching for Pokemon Sage, uh, the one that I believed at the time was the oldest fan game, uh, I realized that this video was gonna be incredibly long and I didn't know when it was gonna get out. So I just, I wanted to actually finish a project and I wanted to get it out. So I decided to split it up into three parts and uh, we did the Pokemon Sage video. And the video itself is definitely one of my favorite videos this year. In terms of the game, uh, the game was actually quite lengthy in terms of the demo for the year it came out it was an incredible demo actually honestly i think i mean i feel like i'm putting a lot of things in eight but i think definitely like around here is 
where I feel about it. I think Pokemon Sage, definitely a great video. Um, not really necessarily suggesting you play the game because it's not finished, um, but the demo was very, very good. Continuing that series um, was this game has been in development for 15 years uh, and it is the video about Pokemon Ethereal Gates, uh, AKA Pokemon Sea and Sky. It's had a few other names in the past. Again, another one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Put a lot of time, research, just love into it in general. You know, the editing and stuff. A certified hood classic, if you will. The game itself aged better than I thought, honestly, but it was still quite a short demo. I'm going to put it in seven. I think seven's fair. After that, I was contacted by uh, one of the people working on Pokemon Phoenix Rising, which just happened to be like a mutual of mine for a couple years. I would consider him a friend now, Uzi Gunner. Uh, and he said that he would love to get involved with the creation of my Phoenix Rising video in some way. You know, maybe he could answer some questions. So the Phoenix Rising video took a little bit of a back burner uh, while I was, you know, communicating with him and the dev team. So in the meantime, I made another one-off video called I did a hardcore nuzlocke of the weirdest fusion game that fusion game is pokemon charged red and it is actually a game we've played in the past i believe we played it in 2021 or 2022 uh we basically played it because it got an update uh big updates to the game and instead of just playing it again from start to finish i figured you know what i'm gonna do a hardcore nuzlocke i don't really do those often um but i'm glad i did i think it turned out to be a, just a pretty good video and uh it was pretty fun to record all things considered i'm gonna put it a little bit ahead of ethereal gates then we have pokemon myth another game that i started playing and didn't finish a big motivator for me to make this video actually was to have an excuse to talk to you guys about games that i never finished pokemon myth it's it's a good fan game i i think it's genuinely a good fan game i think pokemon myth just suffers from the fact that i don't like playing pokemon fan games that much it takes a lot for a pokemon fan game to really grab me and make me want to play it and unfortunately myth just wasn't doing it for me it's another one of those moments where like the game itself probably is better than some of the ones up here but um i didn't really get to experience it much uh, i liked the evolution i liked the sound type evolution i like the normal type evolution as well actually evolutions were cool but yeah i couldn't get into it so for that reason i'm gonna just i'll put it ahead of pokemon emerald crest um but uh, I'm, I'm quite neutral on it, to be honest. Then finally, the Pokemon Phoenix Rising video came out. Um, was very proud of this video, just like the others before it. In terms of the actual game itself though, Phoenix Rising uh, suffered from way too much dialogue. I did not care for all the dialogue. I think the dialogue would be fine if it was, like Scarlet and Violet, I think has some of the best dialogue in Pokemon ever. Dialogue is so much fun to read. I'm, I'm fine about reading dialogue. It's just when it gets boring is when it's, when it's bad, so. The video itself was a banger to make. The game is beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of love being put into it, but I definitely felt myself dragging my feet when I played it. So for that reason, I'm going to put it I'll put it here. Then we replayed through another game. That seems to be my specialty this year, playing demos and replaying through another game. Uh, this one was as a series. We replayed through Pokemon. Uh, I literally just looked at the name of it and I immediately forgot. Dude, my brain needs studied. Pokemon Altered with a gun. Pokemon Altered. Definitely one of the most fun things I've done this year, I think. I uh, had a blast playing through that again. I do wish it was a little bit harder. It was like, like the whole point of the game was like, oh, this is the hard mode version of the game. But like it, for me, I'm a god gamer. So of course it wasn't hard. Definitely going to put it up here with uh, Radical Red and uh, I, might, I might put it ahead of Radical Red, you know, um, because I think for me personally, what I like seeing is new Pokemon, new monsters. That's what I'm all about. That's my favorite thing to do on this channel. And that's what we got with Pokemon Altered. So definitely loved that. And then for Halloween, I played this game. Uh, I actually did two games like this this year, which is really funny. It's called The Old Chateau. Uh, it was a game that was made in like the course of a month. I mean, it was all right. It wasn't bad. I think i um, partially annoyed by it because I spent a lot longer on it than I than I wanted to. I think I spent maybe like three, four hours trying to beat it. And like over half that time was I just kept getting screwed over. <laughs> maybe a skill issue. I'll, I'll just put it in six. Six feels right. Then we played Pokemon Amalgam Magenta, which uh, was a one-off video. Uh, Pokemon Amalgam Magenta is a part of the Altered universe. So um, it's like the same guys that made Pokemon Alt Red. Uh, it was a pretty good one-off experience. Uh, some of my most favorite designs ever seen in this game. I think uh, Amalgam Magenta was kind of, I think I maybe didn't brand it properly. I branded it as catching 100 more fake regional forms and people probably thought, oh, that's just another episode of Alt Red, whatever. But um, it's actually a different game, but it's made by the same people. So if you didn't check out Amalgam Magenta, I would recommend checking it out. It's 
very, very good. Pretty good one-off video. I'd probably put it up there uh, as one of the most fun things I've played this year. Maybe not as fun as Radical Red. Radical Red was pretty fun. Yeah, well, I think that's right. I've been on fire with the one-off videos this year. We played, um, I guess, a demo or a beta of, uh, I think it's Celia's Stupid ROM Hack. It's called the Dumbest Pokemon ROM Hack. That video did quite well. Uh, quite a lot of you guys saw it. And uh, for good reason. Uh, definitely one of the better things I played this year. It was such a refresher on uh on just like rom hacking like it was just silly goofy puzzles it was just plain old fun can't recommend you guys check out the game and also the video enough i think i will put it here i don't want recency bias to uh to mess with it too much but uh, yeah definitely one of the most fun things i've done this year then recently i made a video on this uh it was basically like 30 minutes of what happened at mount coronet remade in like uh just a 3d sort of space like a 3d engine it was in collaboration with the person that made it uh, they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to play this? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I don't want to be rude, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> like, I guess stacked up to everything else here. It was like 30 minute gameplay. I think it was more for the visuals than anything. Uh, the actual gameplay itself was was pretty broken. I'm going to just I, I can't really I don't really feel right if I don't put it like here. And lastly, we have Pokemon Ultralight, a game I thought you guys were honestly gonna love because you guys really liked emerald rogue not as many people came out and watched it as i had hoped or thought but that's okay um i finished it uh it's a five-part series uh the game was made in a game jam uh which is basically like uh oh developers make a game in a month and submit it and you know we'll see who wins like, who makes the best game in a month so with that in mind uh i think it was a pretty decent game uh i think my favorite thing about pokemon uh ultralight was just the theming of being an ultra space um i absolutely i love ultra beasts uh, i love the roguelike roguelite genre so it was kind of like a match made in heaven for me i think i also loved just the ideas that they had in terms of like the partner pokemon support pokemon uh the the items that you get like the different effects all of it was very creative in my opinion and uh the story had an ending that i didn't expect um i personally would recommend checking out the videos at the very least the game isn't like super long i think the game's length is artificial just because of the fact it's a rogue light or rogue like i think i would put it right here and that is all of the pokemon rom hacks and fan games i made videos on this year uh, i'm sure there's a bunch of like streams that i never turned into videos i honestly don't remember what i did last week let alone this year so um that's my ranking um i would love to see your guys's ranking uh if you want to do this tier list it's in the description Feel free to send it to me on Twitter or on Discord. I would really appreciate it because I want more of an idea of the type of games and videos that you guys like from me. So if I see a bunch of you guys put like Pokemon Radical Red at number 10, I'm going to understand like, oh, okay, you know, they, they like more of the of the hard Pokemon games. 2024, I'm going to try and continue doing a bunch of series and also the one-off videos. I really like doing the one-off videos. It's uh, definitely the ones I'm most passionate about. We're actually starting another series soon. Um, two new series actually I have in mind for 2024. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much for your support this year. Uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, you guys are the best. If you have any suggestions for ROM hacks and fan games for me to check out in 2024, uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. But yeah, thanks for everything this year, guys. I hope you have a good, uh, christmas if you celebrate it if not just hope you have a good rest of your year i'll see you guys again soon with a brand new series bye